Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're going to talk about Black Panther Wakanda Forever star Letitia Wright, who is Shuri, aka the new Black Panther, I believe. Uh, for now, she can't shake this uh, cancel culture, can she? Because Letitia Wright has been critical of uh, vaccines, or the uh, a particular vaccine, rather, or a couple of different vaccines, I guess, depending on the manufacturer. The, of course, the COVID vaccine. She's been critical of that, and because of it, Hollywood media will not let her forget what an awful person she is. In fact, they're comparing her to abusers, alleged abusers, like, like physically abusive people, people who have been involved in sex scandals, and she's actually calling them out, so I say go her. We're going to talk about this, and it's so weird. I mean, we're talking Fran Drescher, who is in charge of the Screen Actors Guild, uh, said that she does not support the mandates. Uh, Letitia Wright saying she doesn't support the mandates and she was skeptical of the vaccine. We have uh, uh, Evangeline Lilly in uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp uh, saying that she actually agreed with the truckers in Canada. Yeah, you know, what's going on here, guys? You guys are, are losing control of the narrative. Where's the uh, the pandemic amnesty that we're, we're all calling for, right? Uh, the media won't have it. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 281,000 subs. Thank you for the support. Geeky sitting this one out. Um, so you're stuck with me. You're stuck with me, right? So the Hollywood Reporter did a hit piece on Letitia Wright. Basically, uh, they lumped her in with a bunch of alleged abusers. Uh, according to Yahoo Entertainment, actually, this is the AV Club, Letitia Wright calls the Hollywood Reporter incredibly disrespectful for comparing her to alleged abusers. Um, Letitia Wright's vaccination beliefs are still an understandably sensitive issue for many who have been affected by the COVID crisis. Her sharing vaccine skeptical content two, year, two years ago, two years ago, remains a point of contention. Wright apologized and in a recent Guardian interview said that sharing the anti-vax post was not me, although she continues to dodge explicit questions about her own vaccine status. Uh, cast and crew members also denied reports that Wright was evangelizing about her anti-vax status on the set of Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Um, yeah, well, I don't think she'd get very far if <laughs> she ran into the, the right people on the set, right? It's still a controversy, sure, but putting her name beside someone like Brad Pitt, accused of domestic abuse, does not feel like a fair comparison. Yet the Hollywood Reporter attempted to examine these controversies as well as Will Smith's slap on equal footing. This is the AV Club? Is this the AV Club? Oh my God, it's the AV Club. I can't believe that. I can't believe they're actually siding with her. Uh, putting them on equal footing for an award season lead up and uh, Wright was reasonably upset by it. I had to unblock the Hollywood Reporter just to post this. Scott Feinberg and all at this publication. You're incredibly disrespectful. The actor wrote on her Instagram story. Uh, so actually, Bounding in the Comics has that Instagram story. There she is with her middle finger up. Yeah, she don't care. Um, she said, I had to unblock the Hollywood Reporter. Just to post this, Scott Feinberg and all at this publication, you're incredibly disrespectful. How dare you? You mentioned my name alongside men who have been accused of abuse and sexual misconduct. This is vile behavior. No, this, Letitia, I hate to break it to you, and I'm sure you know by now that if uh, you are even remotely skeptical of the vaccines, or you were remotely skeptical of the vaccines. You were literally killing people. You were literally killing grandma. You were a horrible person who had to had to have a, a pass uh, to, to get to do anything, to buy and sell, to travel. Uh, you had to have that pass. I'm surprised they didn't tattoo anti-vaxxer on, on our foreheads just to make sure people knew, you know, uh, that you were a no good Nick, right? Um, this is, this is, this is it, man. I mean, this is like, I thought we were over this shit. Are we over this shit? Like take it, don't take it, do the research, you know, uh, assess your own health and figure out where you're at with it. If it makes you feel better, fantastic, but also be aware there are side effects. You know, there are side effects and we're starting to see more and more side effects pop up. You know, it was kind of rushed out in my opinion, but you know, again, do your own research, come to your own conclusion. Uh, but to lump her in with alleged abusers is is a bridge too far, right? Um, at this point, a personal vendetta toward me. I've done nothing wrong, but respectfully refuse to do interviews with this publication. Stop your nonsense. I apologize two years ago. Remain silent on the topic. You lied and said I continued talking about it with my cast and crew on uh, the set. 
This was not true. Asked my producer and director. That is true. Actually, the producer of Wakanda Forever came out and said, no, she wasn't uh, she wasn't evangelizing her her anti-vax stuff on the set. She was very professional and uh, her beliefs are her beliefs, right? The film is successful. Your agenda toward me is now even more clear. I won't remain silent. Stop your disgusting behavior. Damn. They also threw her threw her name into uh, the same hat as Roman Polanski, Woody Allen, Mel Gibson, Casey Affleck, Gary Oldman. Nate, Gary Oldman. What did Gary Oldman do? Nate Parker, Moore, right is the only woman mentioned on this list of problematic performers, past or present. The Hollywood Reporter must be bigots. They must be racist and misogynists. There's no mention, for instance, of Tar frontrunner Kate Blanchett, who won her last Oscar for a film directed by Allen and later said that social media is not the judge and jury in reference to the allegations of abuse against him. Uh, some fans have pointed out that Wright seems to have faced much more scrutiny for her, her anti-vax controversy than Evangeline Lilly, who has not only posted about her issues with the vaccine, but actively protested against mandates uh, at a D.C. rally. Lilly wouldn't have been mentioned in this particular piece as she is not at all involved in award season. Ouch. <laughs> but it will be interesting to see if Lilly is held to the same standard of accountability when the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is released. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they're racist. Maybe they, you know, I don't know. Uh, furthermore, Feinberg's piece acknowledges that many of the actors mentioned Wright may also have the weakest case for a nomination anyway. No actor from the Marvel Cinematic Universe has yet been nominated for their work in the superhero film while Angela Bassett is receiving some buzz for her performance. Wright's name hasn't truly been in the awards season conversation. Uh, it's not just the comparison of scandals that's apples to oranges. It seems to be a case of dragging her name where it doesn't belong in multiple levels. Some people are not going to let this go. They're calling for pandemic amnesty. They're not going to let it go. They're, 10 years from now, there will be hit pieces. It's going to be like Gamergate, right? Where it's so far in the rearview mirror, most people don't even remember it. And I think what's going to happen 10 years from now, a lot of people are going to be like, oh yeah, there was a, there was a couple of months where like, if you didn't get the vaccine, they, they would fire you from your job or something. And that was kind of crazy. Oh, well, moving on, you know, and um they're going to bring this shit up. And most people are going to be like, well, there aren't any mandates. Fran Drescher was like, I don't think the mandates are constitutional. I don't think you have any right to tell people what to do with their bodies, you know, on any level. Uh, let's get back to work. And uh, again, she's in charge of the Screen Actors Guild. So what are you going to do? Um, I remained silent as the world told me to kill myself two years ago for a video I posted and apologized for. At this point, a personal vendetta toward me. I've done nothing wrong. Um, yeah, she didn't do anything wrong. She's allowed to have her opinions about this sort of thing. Uh, you don't have to agree with her. You know, it's not your body. You don't have to agree with her. Uh, and, you know, they said she conducted herself very professionally on the set of Black Panther 2 and that uh, she wasn't spreading misinformation. And actually, they said that the set of Black Panther 2, which is kind of weird because I thought there were all kinds of mandates in place. There, there were no vaccine mandates. Um, you know, so we'll see, we'll see how far they go. I think what happens with a lot of these people that have these, you know, these political agendas is they push it, push it, push it, push it until they target the wrong person. And then the backfire is immense to have the AV club come out and be like, this is too far. You done fucked up. In my opinion, you done fucked up. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views and rants, guys. We'll talk later.